Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as we explore LA and find an amazing all-you-can-eat lobster buffet out in Redondo Beach. Hey everyone, this is Tim. I'm really enjoying LA. A really nice place and just the other night I got to connect with Dan and uh, Ivan where we were at a beautiful rooftop patio enjoying the views of the city and we got a chance to snap a few pictures and it is spectacular. It's the tallest rooftop patio in the northern hemisphere and I've actually been there before because it's at the Intercontinental Hotel and a couple of years ago I got to visit their buffet that was a couple of floors down called the Decadence Buffet. It was spectacular. Lobster, king crab, we've got Chef Lopez cooking up the storm. Really great to see and forward a couple of years. It's a little bit different now. Uh, hopefully they'll reintroduce their lobster and seafood buffet. But for now, they have an amazing Sunday brunch, which I can't wait to try. But for those who are in a mood and craving for lobsters, uh, I found this amazing uh, lobster, unlimited lobster restaurant. Uh, thanks to Steve Chow's channel, just browsing on YouTube and uh, they're not in LA but close to it near Redondo Beach. I can't wait to visit that today. Thank you so much for joining the day with me and also thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As you know I've been uh, compiling all your great suggestions and also documenting the places I visited. Hopefully that would help you out by putting that on a website and I've been taking my sweet time just because work is so busy and with time being limited I don't want any technical complexities of setting a website that's why Squarespace is my platform of choice because they get you online quickly and easily without the technical complications. And getting started is very simple. Just sign up for a free account and you'll be asked what the website is about. Uh, let's choose some traveling. And what do you want to do? Well, let's make it a blog. And of course, starting a community. And there you'll be provided with many professional templates from which you can choose. Here I'm going to select the Fillmore template to get the structure started and just change a few titles. Not fishing, but eating by city. And once you're set up, all you do is focus on your content. And for those aspiring entrepreneurs or the professionals that are looking for more from websites to online stores, from marketing tools to analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build your beautiful online presence to run your business. So whether you want to blog, connect, or just have a social media presence, Squarespace is your go-to choice because it gets you set up online quickly and easily. So give it a try. Visit squarespace.com, set up your free account, set up your template, and start creating your website and your content. And when you're ready to publish, visit squarespace.com slash Tim Lee to save 10% off the purchase of your first website or domain. And with that, I can see the Intercontinental Hotel. I hope you're getting hungry. I'm getting hungry for some breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. This is lunchtime almost. This is like 11.30. So uh, I can't wait to visit the uh, Decadence Brunch Buffet for the first time in like two years and also some great lobsters and unlimited lobsters at Redondo Beach. Again, thank you for joining. Uh, let's go inside. And it's coming up ahead. How can you miss this tall tower? I can't wait to get up there. Uh, come on, let's go. And there's a little bit of a trick to it. So gorgeous atrium. We'll head up to the elevators over there. And if I recall, it's on the 70th floor. So the elevators take you to the 70th floor, but the uh, restaurant is, or the decadence is actually on the 69th floor. So you got to take these uh, stairs all the way down. But since we're so high up, let me show you the view here. So quite beautiful during the day and at night, just as spectacular. And I think we can continue enjoying this view with the meal downstairs. Let's go. All right, I remember these staircase well. It was two years ago and just as dizzying and it goes on hopefully we'll get there soon a light at the end of the spiraling tunnel oh here we go mm. 
so nice to be back here and uh, seeing a buffet going on and enjoying this gorgeous view. And I did take a look around and the buffet looks spectacular. And there's an endless row of desserts and I can't wait to get to that. But I think first we need a cup of coffee or something to get started in the morning. Hey Miguel. Welcome, welcome to Decadence. Oh, it's so good to be back and uh, everything looks uh, really fantastic. Can I get a cup of coffee? Absolutely. Yeah. And just taking a look at the menu, it's a sparkling brunch, Saturday and Sundays at 11. And drinks are included. Okay, so I remember a couple of years ago, they had an amazing spread with uh, Chef Lopez at the grilling station, uh, all that great seafood and the lobster and the king crab. I don't think they have this anymore, but thanks to the great folks at YouTube, I think uh, from Steve Cha, I think uh, around the LA area or from Dondo Beach, they have all you can eat lobster. So I can't wait to give that a try. But I think for now, let's uh, stick with a breakfast and a nice breakfast buffet. Oh, and the coffee's coming. Oh, thank you, Miguel. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that is much needed. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Top of the morning to you. Mm. Oh, very good. And I can't wait to see what's at the buffet. Come on, let's go. I generally like to start uh, at a buffet when it's uh, early in the morning and it's just starting out, uh, but it's only been open for a few minutes and it's getting pretty busy. But look at this. Lots of hardworking folks there. Omelette station. And then we have some breakfast. And there's more. I think you're starting off with the uh, charcuterie and uh, the breakfast cereals. And really grateful for Miguel to mention that there is a dessert station right around the corner. Otherwise, I would have missed that. But uh, I think usually I skip the bread station, but I think I'm going to uh, take a look here because it does look pretty good. So we got the juices and this is the bread station. So I think let's start off with a bit of a salmon bagel. I wonder if you can get the bread toasted over there, but I see they have one of these. And bagel number two. So I think one for the savory and one for the sweet. All right, the only thing that can be better than salmon is pastrami salmon some cream cheese right here a little bit of avocado I know that was supposed to be the sweet one but I can't resist a bit of the smoked salmon and pile it up with some more and a little bit of the pastrami salmon with the avocado a little bit more bit of tomato, onions, and a sprinkling of chives. Sorry, I made a mess there. Right. Really good start. And uh, let's see what else is next. So we've got the cereals and uh, the cold breakfast items. Ah, and some rice. And it does look pretty good. And you can see all the hardworking folks making the mimosas and the uh, breakfast adult type breakfast drinks. And moving on, we have some fruits. Some jumbo shrimp. Let's go for a few of these. Number one, number two, and maybe number three. A bit of sauce. Some salad items, and then, oh, some charcuterie. Cheeses, and things get so much better. I think there's steak. So this is Breakfast of Champions. I think we'll go for a little bit of steak and maybe a bit of steak and eggs. Becoming a surf and turf. And we need a couple of those pearl onions and mushrooms and some veggies, some more meats, some grilled stewed chicken. You can see how tender that is. Next to the steak, a little bit of chilies, tortilla and eggs. Perfect breakfast item to soak up the sauce that's running We'll do a little bit of a sweet and savory. Waffles here. 
And I think we're going to top that with some salmon in a wonderful cream sauce. I'm not sure if that goes together, but let's give that a try. There's so much more, but I think this is a, a sufficient first round. The stations look really good, and I think I might have overdid it for the first round. But the salmon looks good in cured form, and the cooked form looks even better. And we definitely need to quench our thirst. Cheers. Mm. Very nice. And let's go for the salmon. So which one to go first? Wonderful choices to have. And I think the jam became redundant. Let's try the avocado salmon toast. Mm. Nice crunch. And the spices of the pastrami salmon with the avocado is a nice balance. Really tasty. Mm. I can go for many of these, but there's the original salmon with uh, cream cheese and onions. Mm. Light and fresh, so refreshing. Very different from the spiciness of the pastrami salmon. Definitely a winner. Mm. Very nice. And I think we can't let the salmon and waffle go to wait. And I think we better attack the salmon and waffles before the waffle gets too soggy. Knife and fork situation. Oh, let's give this a try. Wonderful. Mm. Mm. That is a big bite. That salmon is wonderfully cooked, and that cream sauce is rich and luscious and uh, tangy at the same time. Mm. The salmon by itself was superb. Very crispy and light and sweet, and certainly doesn't go well with the salmon and the cream sauce. Mm. Oh well, you live and learn. We'll give the shrimp a try. Mm. Very nice. And since we have the seafood, let's go for the steak. Kind of curious to see how the steak is because it's been um, usually at a buffet and it's not uh, carved and it's in a warming dish there. Let's see how tender it is. Mmm. Mmm. That is a good steak. Perfectly tender, even though it's cooked all the way. It's not dry, and that's the most important thing. It's got a little bit of mushrooms, and uh, I'm gonna skip the pearl onions. It's too hard to pick up. Mm. Very nice. Steak is superb. I think we'll go for the pearl onion. Mm. Oh. It's tangy. Mm. Oh, much needed. So uh, I'm gonna finish this off and I can't wait to see what other uh, great uh, breakfast items they have for round two and so forth. And uh, I can't wait to take you back for dessert. And I'm just gonna finish this off. Mm. Round one was great. Steak was fantastic. Chicken was okay, uh, so if you have the choice, go for the steak. And uh, that salmon and waffle combination just didn't work out, but we learned from our mistakes, so let's correct that with uh, round number two. Let's go. Mm -hmm. right. And this time I think I'm gonna work from the other direction and work my way towards the middle. The omelets look so good. Um, can I get a cheese, bacon, and uh, sausage omelet? Thank you.
Thank you. I think we're going to continue with some traditional breakfast items. And right off the bat, crispy bacon. Right next to the omelet. So moving on from the bacon, we've got the sausage. And I think everything here is actually in my omelet. That's okay. We'll have a little bit of redundancy. So I think I'm going to skip the potatoes and save room. Uh, scrambled eggs. And these are the waffles. And I won't make the mistake I did last time. Crispy waffle on its own. And the salmon on its own. Really tasty. Right next here. Okay. Okay. With some of that luscious sauce. Away from the waffle and towards the omelet. I think that would be good. Okay. And with the waffle, you definitely need a little bit of syrup. And definitely have to go for more of that steak. And I guess it's a steak and eggs thing. Okay. Go for a nice piece of steak here. Right next to the eggs. Okay, and I think the waffle needs a little bit of something. And I think that little bit of something is coming up. Let's do some blackberries. With a bit of strawberries and a little bit of blueberries for contrast. So round two, and it's so nice to be back at your table where everything is put together nicely for you. I usually leave things in a mess and it's really nice of Miguel to make things uh, pristine. And this is my plate, more traditional waffles and uh, savory items in their own separate area. And before the waffle gets too soggy, let's dig in. Okay, nice and crisp again. With a lot of fruit, strawberry, mm. 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 much better with a waffle on its own, with the pockets to hold the syrup and the nice fruits. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Can't wait to dig into the omelette. A little bit of eggs, a little bit of pastrami salmon, and a little bit of sauce. More sauce. Mm. All right. The omelette on its own is not bad, but with a little bit of the salmon and the cream sauce makes it superb. Mm. Mm. A little bit messy and good. So I think with this traditional type breakfast or this round, I'm going to finish it up really quickly because I don't want to miss that amazing row of desserts. And I'll take you back. Cheers. So the second round, I think I bit off more than I can choose, so to speak. Eyes were certainly bigger than the stomach because uh, it's actually a bit early in the morning and uh, that was a lot of food. And I forgot to mention just how great that salmon was. Nice and flaky. If you're here for the proteins, steak and salmon are the way to go. But now that uh, this is done, I think it's time for some sweet treats. Uh, let's check out that endless row of desserts. Uh, let's, let's take a look. So again, thanks to Miguel. Uh, he mentioned it's right around the corner and so glad that he mentioned otherwise it would be impossible to find the decadent sign. Man, what's with all these small plates? Okay. So much better and back to the dessert area. All right, so we've got some pastries, chocolate croissants, and some muffins and danishes. Just a little too bready, but ah, here comes the good stuff. Let's see, a little bit of carrot cake. Lemon cake. 
And we have, oh, look at these, chocolate mousse. Go for one of these next to the decadent carrot cake, pun intended. All right, oh, and I think they have some, looks like a wedding cake. Some nice cupcakes. And this is a tart that is Eggs Benedict inspired wonderful s'mores. Go for one of these or maybe two. But next to the s'mores, we have a chocolate mousse cake, I think. Can't wait to figure out what this is. Ooh, strawberry shortcake, two left. And now it's only one left. Perfect spot. And to finish things off, a blondie. So such an amazing dessert selection for a breakfast buffet and in general as well. So look at this. With the beautiful view, we've got the mimosa depleting with the, uh, I think a wedding cake. But look at all this. I can't wait to try this uh, Eggs Benedict-like thing. Okay, cut into it. Okay. So kind of uh, egg inspired, I think. That is a lemon tart with a nice shell. Let's get a quarter of this. All right, a little bit of a mess, but a tasty mess. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, hmm. Oh, pastry is nice and crumbly. And I think they call it a short pastry. And a lemon tart is quite tangy. Hmm. Nice, sour, tangy lemon wakes up the taste buds, but I think we need to contrast that with this decadent chocolate tart. Wow. Look at that. Mm. What a nice, what a nice contrast. Rich, luscious chocolate mousse, but airy and light at the same time. And with a nice cookie crumb. Mm. Very nice. I think we gotta try that wedding cake. At least I think that's a wedding cake. And to suit the occasion, Miguel is bringing over a sparkling wine. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. Mm. Very nice. Let's try the cake. Oh, a hard shell. What is this? Oh, looks really nice. Mmm, very nice. It's almost like a lemington. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of jam in the middle. So this was a decadence and uh, really nice to be back after two years or so. And uh, really nice to see things back, um, actually getting back to normal. I remember Years past, uh, they had really nice uh, seafood spread. I remember Chef Lopez was there cooking up a storm with the uh, lobster and the king crab. And hopefully they'll have this uh, back again soon, but uh, not too bad. If you're looking for some lobster and some seafood, I heard again there was this place that I can't wait to visit and I'll take you there next. I think it's called Redondo Beach and all you can eat lobster. I can't wait to give it a try. Uh, I think I'm just going to finish off this dessert and uh, do a little bit of walking around and uh, we'll take you back for dinner. Cheers. Uh, a short ride and we are at Redondo Beach. Uh, look at this view. And over there is the pier and I can't wait to check that out. But this is uh, kind of late in the afternoon, uh, early evening. Uh, a lot of the times these videos are not continuous. So after that wonderful uh, breakfast brunch at the Decadence Hotel, uh, I had to go back and uh, got called in for some work. But uh, that's okay. Uh, it's uh, still a beautiful day. And uh, here at Rendondo Beach, I think uh, I'm just in time for dinner. And thanks to these great YouTube recommendations from Steve Cha, there is an all-you-can-eat lobster restaurant 
here in Rendondo, just right around the corner. I can't wait to check that out. Uh, hopefully we'll have a nice meal together and what seafood was missing at the Decadence. Hopefully they'll have it back. Uh, whatever's missing there, I think we'll make, we'll make up for it in spades here. So I can't wait. Uh, come on, uh, I hope you're hungry. Uh, I am. Uh, let's go. Ah, and I see some people doing the same thing. Ah, and there it is. Table manners and perfect storm. A little bit contradictory, but uh, love the irony. All right, so beautiful table from Laz, and this is quite, uh, it's really early here, but it's starting to get really busy, and I can see why. Uh, let me show you the view. Oh, oh, thank you so much. So on this hot day, you really need a nice glass of white wine from Laz to a wonderful meal. Mm. Very nice. And uh, I remember Steve Shaw mentioned that uh, this is a hidden secret and uh, uh, that's about to be exposed and I think it's already been exposed. So many people here. So let's take a look at the menu. So I think this is the wine list. It's still happy hour, so $5 glasses of wine. So I don't think the menu indicates the seafood feast or the lobster, uh, endless lobster feast, but uh, Laz was nice uh, to set that up for me. So I think they bring out the appetizers and then some side dishes and then of course the endless lobsters. So I can't wait for that. And oh, and Laz is here. Oh my goodness. Hey Laz, you're a sight for sore eyes, uh, hungry eyes. We made it here homemade. Everything here is made from cash. Oh, okay. We had the cocktail stream. Oh, these are huge. Made. And the one is a honey biscuit with extra honey butter. Yeah. And a sabiata bread. Oh, great. Let's enjoy. That looks so good, I'm digging in. All right, and as Laz mentioned, the salmon dip, the honey biscuit, or the honey biscuit, as you mentioned. Uh, and then these wonderful shrimp. I think we'll use our hands, but we'll go for a little bit of a shrimp into a little bit of sauce and bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. oh. The shrimp is nice and fresh, really nice char and sweet. Mm. And luckily, <clears throat> there's only a few because I can fill up on that and there won't be enough room for the lobsters. But let's try the honey biscuit. For the biscuit. Oh, nice and crispy. Biscuit here. Oh, a bit of dip. Oh, really nice. Biscuit is nice and crispy and crunchy and soft and a little sweet. And with the nice salty salmon dip, really perfect balance. Mm, very nice. So I think this is just the appetizers. Oh, <clears throat> man, biscuits are so crumbly. So I think I'm gonna finish this really, really quickly and we'll see what other sides and uh, all that good stuff um, Laz has to bring. We'll take you right back. Cheers. Very nice. Oh! More beautiful things right here. Oh! Oh, thank you. Oh, can, can I keep that there? Oh, thank you so much. Nice and healthy macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Yellow California mashed potato. Oh, big lotion. Oh, look at that. Boom, boom. All right, thank you. So the table is getting so full and it just needs a bit of rearranging. So that is the appetizers taken care of. And then we have the lobsters and as Laz mentioned, the wonderful mac and cheese and some uh, mashed potatoes and they look so buttery. I think I'm going to start with the mashed potatoes first. Let's give this a try. Mm. This is nice and buttery. A little bit of rustic potato chunkiness. Mm. But certainly not filling up on the potatoes. Let's dig into the lobsters. So these look really good with garlic and butter. Oh, nice and succulent. You can see the juices. All right. All right. Get, oh, nice and tender. Falls right off. And a dunk in the butter. Cheers to lobster number one of many.
Mm. Oh. That is cooked perfectly. Nice and tender and succulent. And it's got that oceany sweetness. Very nice. Oh. I can go for 20 of these. And <laughs> you know what? I think we can. Definitely got to try the mac and cheese. Mm. Very nice. But I think with the potatoes and the mac and cheese, they're kind of starches and they fill you up. So the best way to conquer this is to mix the lobster in with these great sides. Okay. So again, oh, look at this. Just so succulent. It just comes right off. Right on the mac and cheese. I think we need to do a knife and fork thing. So a little bit of knife and fork. And look at that, it just cuts perfectly. They really don't overcook the lobster, it's just perfectly done. A little bit of uh, lobster chunks here. And we can afford to do this because it's unlimited. A little bit of cheesy mac and cheese. Mm. Nice and creamy and cheesy with the pasta and for a little bit of contrast, you got the lobster. Mm. I wonder how the mashed potato would taste with the lobster. <laughs> One way to find out. Some wonderful mash with a bit of lobster or a lot of lobster. Mm. Very nice. So I think I'm pretty much done with the first round of lobster. That's lobster number one, or two halves. And I can't wait. Laz is already um, kind of getting ready for lobster number two and three and more. And uh, we'll take you back for some more. Cheers. Oh, very nice. Round one went by quickly and, uh, you know, as good as the lobster was, uh, those claws were actually quite a challenge. But even in the claw, you can see how perfectly cooked they are. And oh, Laz has more food coming. Oh, thank you again. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> thank you. So round two has come and let me show you what we have here. Gigantic lobsters and butter. Can't wait to dig into that. And the nice thing is that everything is made fresh to order. And uh, because they're made fresh to order, I think there's a little bit of a wait sometimes. So really nice uh, of Laz to double up the order and hopefully he'll, uh, he'll keep doing that. Uh, so instead of one, he'll get two and next one we'll get four and eight and 16 and so forth. So I can't wait to dig into this now. So these are not small lobsters. They are huge. And uh, oh, a little bit of tamale in there. Let's just dig in. And again, you can take a look. This, they don't overcook this at all. This is perfectly succulent and uh, just oh, melts. And I know made fresh, a little bit of butter. Mm. Oh. Usually, I don't like the lobsters charred because they're overcooked, but these are just perfectly cooked. Plus, you get that nice char grilled taste. Oh, and it just two bites. And instead of the butter, let's try a little bit of the salmon dip. Lobster and salmon. Oh, wow. Mm. That's fantastic. Good as the butter was. A lobster with the smoky, creamy salmon dip, a little bit of saltiness, makes it terrific. Mm. Very nice. And I think I forgot to mention about the price. Really important. But I'll leave that in the, hopefully I left that in the description or the captions earlier on. But this is um, $145. Not cheap. However, I remember a couple of days ago, I went to Saint Pedro or San Pedro. Uh, thank you for the correct uh, pronunciation of that. So uh, San Pedro fish market was awesome, but it was expensive. And that lobster alone uh, would have been the same price of this whole meal, uh, almost. So really good deal here. Um, I know everything's getting quite expensive, but especially when it's unlimited, fresh, made to order, and when they double up the orders and keep them coming, uh, at that price, uh, it's still 
it is quite a good deal. And I see this time they've left the tamale here. So I'm going to give that a try with a little bit of the potatoes. Right here. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Okay. I hate to say it, but there is such a thing as too many lobsters. Uh, Laz was uh, as nice as he was round after round after round after round of lobsters. Uh, well, let's just say I had less than eight. Thank you, Chloe. Cheers to you, and they keep this so full, perfectly, uh, perfectly the way I like it. Oh, so refreshing and so smooth. I think this is a blue cheese uh, stuffed olive martini. Let's try the blue cheese stuffed olives. Mm. Very nice. Oh. I think I'm just going to sit back and uh, enjoy this beautiful sunset and uh, digest. Oh, oh no! So Laz, thank you so much for the, for the lobsters. Also, you have more on the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, actually, before you go, I just want to say one, one more thing. No more lobsters. What, it's more on the way. Man. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Do it, man. Do it. Let's do oh, it. Let's no, do no. It. I, I think I've had my limit. Yeah, yeah. Second was one guy from uh, a Korean guy. He made nine rounds. Nine rounds. He's, before, it's one guy from the East Coast, Connecticut. He made seven rounds. Seven rounds. How many rounds you have left? Five or six, right? Oh, I'm. You know what? <laughs> we don't count. So I never thought I'd be saying this, but uh, there is such a thing as too many lobsters. The first uh, couple of rounds were nice, and then when they kept doubling up, <laughs> was uh, was an eye opener. And this is a little bit over the top. So I'm gonna finish this round of lobsters, and hopefully Laz doesn't bring out any more. Uh, it's uh, hard work and uh, someone's got to do it and uh, uh, my, it's absolutely a pleasure in all honesty. So this is the perfect storm and uh, this is uh, quite a feast. So thank you so much for joining me throughout the day at the, the Decadence Buffet and uh, over here with the unlimited amount of lobster. You see Laz back there. So uh, again, uh, really appreciate this and also a special thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Uh, Squarespace is definitely my choice uh, to set up an uh, online presence. Uh, platform is easy to use. So give it a try. Visit Squarespace and set up your free account. Choose your template and begin creating your website and adding all that great content. And when you're ready to publish, visit squarespace.com slash Tim Lee to save 10% off the purchase of your first website or domain. And uh, with all this food, I think I'm going to continue on. But again, thank you so much. And uh, until we see each other again, I uh, wish you all the best. Hope you're eating well, keeping well. God bless and uh, take care of yourself and each other. Cheers. Mm. Very nice. So after a fantastic heavy meal, I think I need a nice walk. And uh, how does the saying go? I'm going to take a short walk off a long pier. And uh, the best pier to do, to do this is the Renaldo uh, Beach Pier. And I can't wait to take a look. <laughs>